First reading, Isaiah chapter 58 verse 7 to 10. Is it not sharing your food with the hungry, and sheltering the homeless poor, if you see someone lacking clothes, to clothe him, and not to turn away from your own kin, then your light will blaze out like the dawn, and your wound be quickly healed over. Saving justice will go ahead of you and Yahweh's glory come behind you, then you will cry for help and Yahweh will answer, you will call and he will say, I am here. If you do away with the yoke, the clenched fist and malicious words, if you deprive yourself for the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, your light will rise in the darkness, and your darkest hour will be like noon. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms chapter 112 verse 4 to 5, 6 to 7, 8 to 9. For the honest he shines as a lamp in the dark, generous, tender-hearted, and upright. All goes well for one who lends generously, who is honest in all his dealing. For all time to come he will not stumble, for all time to come the upright will be remembered. Bad news holds no fears for him, firm is his heart, trusting in Yahweh. His heart held steady, he has no fears, till he can gloat over his enemies, to the needy, he gives without stint, his uprightness stands firm, forever, his reputation is founded on strength. Gospel, Matthew chapter 5 verse 13 to 16 You are salt for the earth. But if salt loses its taste, what can make it salty again? It is good for nothing and can only be thrown out to be trampled under people's feet, you are light for the world. A city built on a hilltop cannot be hidden, no one lights a lamp to put it under a tub, they put it on the lampstand where it shines for everyone in the house, in the same way your light must shine in people's sight, so that, seeing your good works, they may give praise to your Father in heaven. Second reading, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 1 to 5. Now when I came to you, brothers, I did not come with any brilliance of oratory or wise argument to announce to you the mystery of God, I was resolved that the only knowledge I would have while I was with you was knowledge of Jesus, and of him as the crucified Christ, I came among you in weakness, in fear and great trembling, and what I spoke and proclaimed was not meant to convince by philosophical argument, but to demonstrate the convincing power of the Spirit, so that your faith should depend not on human wisdom, but on the power of God.